Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get webcam input and it's actually fairly simple but first I'm going to kind of throw in a bonus and just like from the last video kind of an improvement on the code. So what I figured out that this is not the best method because apparently this um, .cv set 2D and .cv get 2D these things were just crashing my program like well it wasn't that bad but like it was like okay so why is it crashing at home? But then when I, you know, like present it to people, I mean, I'm not complaining. Like presenting to people has never crashed, but I'm just afraid someday it's going to crash. So what I've decided is to confront my fears of buffer. And um, I still actually really don't get buffers. So um, I probably should know what buffers, like these things, but um, yeah, I guess I'll learn them later. Anyway, so basically I get a buffer from the, um, the, um, the points and then the points, the mat of points, it's really supposed to be. And then I just call this method that I defined. Now, personally, I don't really like the uh, point because, like, it apparently has some kind of C memory or something. It's like kind of more like a C based object. And, like, it could potentially, I guess, I mean, I've never seen it happen, but it could cause, like, a memory, like, um, like, like you, just get, you just get out of memory errors and. Yeah, that's bad, but since I have to draw a circle, I don't have to, but for this presentation, I'm drawing a circle. Uh, it, the only way I can technically do it, unless I like program the circle method myself, but I'm literally reinventing the wheel there, aren't I? Um, so yeah. The other thing that I kind of figured out wasn't the best was uh, the what I was doing here with the threshold. Now in a static kind of environment, maybe you can change the threshold threshold values and stuff. But what I figured out is that it's much better just to use canny. So I'm just going to kind of throw it in here. And I actually had like uh, all kinds of GUI stuff. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to post that on GitHub just yet. I'm probably going to have to refine the code a bit before I do so. But typically speaking, it would be something like your threshold. If I remember correctly, it would have been the most optimal, I think, would have been something like, I think it might have been around 200 and then... I think this might have been 600. I'm not completely sure. Um, don't take my word for it. You can experiment with it if you want. Basically, what you do is once you convert the color, you just want to directly do the canny and then find the thing. So basically, just replace this line with the canny and it should work. So um, let's just run this and it should work the same thing. As you can see, it, sa see it saves to T4 now. And if we open T4, hold on a second, and you refresh this. And if we open the T4, uh, it should give the same output as before, but with the less likelihood of crashing. I just haven't really tested this against crashing. It, it could completely crash on me. I actually have not tested this before. Okay, so, um, and then, so for webcam input, uh, so this, is, this code works perfectly fine. You can just write a while true uh, and just keep going and just grab this and then this will output stuff. Now I have my webcam um, covered up and basically it's just gonna be white because of that. Because I actually take a paper and I just, I just stick it onto my webcam. And then if I wanna take it off, I can just peel it off. And, um, but this is not like the best uh, method in my opinion. So what I like to do typically is like to overcomplicate things, but also at the same time, I kind of like to make sure that things close properly. Like you're not disposing the resources. Now I understand that Java does dispose the resources technically when you close it, but like, I still like to make sure that like, yeah, I do it. it, it you know, it just kind of gives you that like, you know, like, okay, yeah, nothing bad's gonna happen. You know, I didn't screw up my computer. I, I closed everything. You know, I close all my all my resources, no leaks, you know. Um, I'm not sure, maybe it could cause like a memory leak. I, I don't really know if it's possible to do that in Java. Probably is, and I have no clue what I'm talking about now. But anyway, so um, some things I figured out was that the um, Java auth thread started messing up with interrupting the thread. So like basically what I did was I moved all that code um, from here onto a thread. And instead of while true, I said while thread is not interrupted, but then when you try to update with the uh, canvas that, um, which I actually moved to a different th like uh, class, and now I'm using it in this picture shower, which basically just waits for um, an input. And then so once this, uh, 
once an update happens, it basically just tells the canvas to show. So it's like the same thing, but like I just moved it to different threads so that this way it wouldn't mess up with interrupting. And um, if we actually run this uh, webcam triangle finder, hold on a second, I actually need to come out some code. This is a sneak peek for what, uh, what I'm going to post next, uh, probably a week later, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. It's going to blow your mind, guys. Um, so you, I got all these socket things, and it's an overcomplicated thing I did to combine Java and Python, but I really couldn't figure out Python. I don't know, maybe because I'm stupid. But anyway, so I couldn't figure that out, right? So I had like this ingenious idea. Oh, crap, I just commented out something I wasn't supposed to. All right, uh, I think it was this. Okay, anyways, so I had this ingenious idea to combine uh, Python and, uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, wait, I need to come out the socket, don't I? Oh, so this part I need to comment out, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, this part. Oh my God, I added so many like lines that I'd, I'm not familiar with commenting out this part. Okay, so basically anyways, um, I use a TCP connection over Java and Python. And um, you'll see why in the next video, why, why I'm doing that. Why, why I need to combine these things. All right, so anyways, if I comment out uh, this code, then theoretically, it should still work, except it's just really overcomplicated. But hey, at least I got like, um, it used to be like I just use a scanner and then you have to hit the console and then you have to hit enter to close it. But now I can kind of just close it if I want with the, uh, Oh, so maybe, so maybe it was 150, but I think I usually use it times three. But anyway, so like, see, that's my head right there. Like, oh, right. But then like, you can do this and then, oh my God. Oh my God, right. And then um, do this, it will make it more. I'm not really sure what is the ratio of threshold. Like, it seems like you're, you're really supposed to use three and then give or take about that. But anyway, so this is like the canny version, not the threshold version. And I figure out this works a lot better. Now, I haven't really updated my code against the thing, so it could crash. I don't know, let's see if we can get it to crash. No, it doesn't seem to be crashing. All right, so basically I just dragged this down and I got the close, and then that will shut down everything properly. Um, and that's basically it for the webcam thing. Basically, you just, you just do a while loop and you do this. And if it gets more complicated, what you do is you basically just program this and I'll, I'll put this on GitHub. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this. And I think I'm probably gonna attach some bloopers at the end. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Do like and oh my God, this is just terrible. Okay. And what did I do wrong here? Oh my god. Oh no, I think I did something terrible here. Um, oh right, you have to cast these as ints. But like pixel like numbers and pixel coordinates don't really ever have doubles, so I don't even know why it's a double. I guess it's because like a scalar or something. And then if you want and if I run this, I hope it doesn't cr oh my god. Okay. That that one that one was the wrong one. It, it's okay. Got you. Got to I got it. Okay, there we go. What, what what the hell is happening here? No, no, wait, wait. What the hell is happening? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my God! Debug is running. Oh my God! This tutorial this tutorial is going to so bad right now. Okay. Um. All right. Let's let's actually try it. Run. Okay. I must have clicked debug. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, oh my god, okay, this actually, this actually crashed this time. So, so this is gonna be interesting, like, like, I forgot a JPG here, I, I don't know, is that, is that why it crashed? I, I don't know what I'm doing, Let, let's try running this again. Oh my god, some, something, something crashed. Tutorial at localhost something. Um, what? Obsolete methods on stack. Oh my god, this is... This is terrible. What? What? Okay. Um, give me a second. I need to think. What? What was I doing again with this? Okay. Right. Right. Uh... 
and we can try running it. Oh my god, this is so terrible. What happened? What why did this crash? What? Oh my god, I'm like really I'm just I'm I'm just so good at life, you know? I'm just too good at life. Let me let me try this. Um Okay, so you can also save an IPL image and you can just do that by just doing this and new IPL image. Oh my god, this is just terrible. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. Mm, yeah. Oh my god, just just stop. This is so terrible right now. Something bad is happening. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's just terrible. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to put this as a blooper or something. But like this is just so bad right now that it's like oh my god, some kind of CV get mat is is bad. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay. Uh. Oh. One eternity later. What happened. Oh, that's what happened. Oh my god, this whole time I just remembered this photo is not compatible. I just I just realized that. Okay. So I think what we need to do instead actually is use this. So um, I believe if we just do this, it should fix it theoretically. Let's try this. And let's just name this as T1. Oh my God, it still doesn't.